My name is Joey Accardo, and I'm the technical manager for EpiRock surface and exploration drilling in the U.S. In this segment, we're going to discuss how to charge an accumulator that's low or been recently replaced. In our case, we just checked this one and found that it was low and it needs to be charged to 25 bar. That value is specific to each rock drill and needs to be checked prior to charging. We're going to install the valve to the accumulator and make sure that the control valve is closed so that we don't have any leaks. After that, we're going to connect our nitrogen tank, back our high pressure regulator all the way off, and make sure that our accumulator dump valve is fully closed. At this point, we're going to turn on the gauge and make sure that it's on and reading zero. Once that's done, all we have to do is open the quarter turn ball valve at the end of the charging device and see the pressure that's in the line. In our case, we currently have 16 to 17 bar, and now we're going to slowly increase that to the desired 25 bar. I like to walk the pressure up slowly so that we can be a bit more accurate and to not overcharge the system. Taking occasional pauses as we approach the target. In this case, I accidentally overcharged to 26 bar. That's not a problem. We can compensate for that. I'm going to back off the high pressure regulator and very slightly open the dump valve. I have very fine control over how much gas comes out. And in this case, we've achieved exactly 25 bar. There's no concerns about leakage when we remove the device as we can close the valve at the charge end and then remove. And don't forget to reinstall the cap. For more information, contact your local EpiRock service center or distributor partner.